Hi, I'm David Turnage with Austin Water, Water Conservation Division. Today we're going to talk about irrigation controllers, how to set the date and the time, setting a program's starting time, run times, and the days to water. All at the same time, we'll avoid overwatering, overspray, and runoff. Now let's go to the controller. So here we have a typical irrigation controller. May not be the same one that you have at your property, but they all basically have the same features. You need to make sure your date and calendar is correct. And then we're gonna move on to specific steps, which will include setting the date and the time, setting a start time, run times for each station, and assigning a specific watering day that's appropriate for your property. Once you've established power to the controller, we can move on to the next steps of programming. The first thing we have to do is make sure that our date and our time is correct on the controller. Simply do that by turning the, the dial to the calendar and set the day, the month, the year, and move on to the correct time. You advance through features using the forward or the backward arrows, and then you advance through uh, values using the positive or the negative signs to, to move uh, the time up or down. Next, we're gonna set our program starting time. To set our program starting time, we need to make sure we've identified the program we're on. In this example, we're using program A. Most controllers have multiple programs. Program A, starting time number one, will set for three o'clock in the morning, advancing time using the plus and minus symbols. After we've set our starting time, we can move on to the next step, which is setting our station run times. Station run times gives you the chance to schedule the run time for each specific station. Run times will be variable based on the plant material that we're watering and the type of component that we're watering it with. Austin Water recommends a baseline schedule for your irrigation program. Schedule your spray zones 12 to 15 minutes and your rotor stations 20 to 30 minutes. Drip is a little more challenging, but also 20 to 30 minutes. This gives you the opportunity to evaluate conditions in your landscape and make adjustments where necessary. We're still programming on program A. Station number one, we're gonna set for 12 minutes. It's a spray zone. Station number two, we're gonna set for 20 minutes because it is a rotor station. Move through the rest of your stations, however many you have. After setting our run times, we can move on to the final step of building our program. That's setting your watering day. Austin Water has specific days for your address. Refer to Austin Water for the current watering schedule. After setting our watering day, we've completed our program. Simply turn the dial back to auto and your controller will run your program on the day at the time that you've scheduled for the run times that you've assigned. Now that we've correctly programmed the irrigation controller efficiently, you can look forward to a healthier, greener lawn conserving water and saving money. Until next time, this is David with Austin Water.